Hi, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. If you don't know me, my name is Jasmine. I am a realistic colored pencil artist and today we are going to be talking about some ways that you guys can overcome art block. I know art block is a really huge thing for some people, so I want to give you guys four or five tips that will help you to kind of expand your skills and get past that hurdle. Maybe you don't know what you're going to draw next. Maybe you're just having a difficult time achieving a certain skill, so I just want to go over some of that stuff with you guys. This video is sponsored by me and my Etsy shop where you can purchase limited edition prints and quality original artwork. This artwork was produced in my lair with my own hands, my own blood, sweat, and tears, but mostly my tears. People always ask me, what's your advice for drawing? And the secret is tears. If you're not crying, you're not trying. This is going to be kind of like a video version of a meme that I used to post. You might remember the Lisa slideshow. I'll put a picture of it up here so you can see. You can kind of expand a little bit, branch out a little bit, and hopefully it will help you advance as an artist. Number one, it kind of sounds cliche, but don't compare yourself to others. Comparison is the thief of joy. I had to overcome that myself. When I was looking at other people's work over the last few years, I would always wonder, you know, if I would ever achieve that, if I would ever get that skill of producing really realistic artwork. It was something I struggled with for years, and I really wish that I wouldn't have wasted so much time doing that. The best thing that you could do is to study their work, ask them questions if you're able to get a hold of that person. That's a really great way to kind of open the door, ask questions, ask them what kind of techniques they use, what products they use, ask them if they try to study certain subjects, maybe they use a certain color set, things like that, is if you have like online artist friends or friends in real life that you can trust with their opinions. I would ask my uh, friends if they would critique my work or if they could just be a second pair of eyes that could look that would look at my work. When you draw something for hours, months, it could just be kind of the in your eyes but you need a second pair of eyes sometimes a third pair of eyes so somebody else can see things that you're not seeing that way you can make adjustments as needed that could help you advance as an artist and they can critique your work appropriately so they can help you with some contru constructive criticism uh, as to what you can do because you don't always see the maybe the mistakes or you may not see things in the same light as somebody else sees them so that would be a great way for you to advance open the doors a little bit more maybe try out some new su drawing subjects or new materials. You never know what you'll like. You might have to do something completely opposite of what you're used to doing. Keep a notebook nearby so that you can jot down ideas whenever they come to you. I would keep a notebook in my nightstand because I used to have trouble falling asleep and what I would do is I would write down random ideas that would come to me at like one or two in the morning. So I would refer to those later things that I wanted to put together. Maybe I wanted my drawing to turn out differently and I had to make adjustments. Uh, I also have come up with series of uh, drawings that I wanted to do. When I was trying to fall asleep, I would come up with all of these ideas. I would also com come up with YouTube video ideas during that time. I don't know why my brain was just into overdrive and I had to get them down on paper because I did not want to forget them. Number three is to try out different medias. You may want to rotate and swap around medias that you use. You could be just kind of what do they call that? Burnt out with a certain media. Maybe you just need a fresh uh, spin on things and you'll be able to experiment with different materials, different colors, different uh, paper even. You might want to start branching out and drawing other subjects. You might get bored, so if you're really looking for a way to overcome art block, try and explore other things to draw or other things to create. You never know what you'll like. I never thought that I would like resin, but a few years ago I started working with with it and I really really enjoyed doing that. So outside of drawing with colored pencil, I also work with epoxy resin. Number four, save photo references. These are especially important if you draw people, if you draw super detailed things, or if you draw, maybe you do a lot of pop culture things or you draw a lot of movie characters or whatever. If you want to save a bunch of photo references, you might combine them later, who knows. You can always go back to your photo references later if you need to brainstorm and branching off of that that topic, I do like Pixabay, they're super useful and another uh, thing that I use are magazines. So these are actually free. Uh, this is a free subscription that I decided to take advantage of. So I redeemed it and I got a year free of the L magazine. And this way, uh, this will help me to get some de more details in people's faces because I know that's something that I need to work on. Another thing that I want to work on is details in clothing. You can't always see those in digital images. So if you have a paper image of it, it's sometimes easier for your eye to focus on that. So 
those are things that will help you to kind of get past your uh, art block. So these have a ton of pictures. These are just ways for you to like practice texture. You can practice drawing hair, eyes, and it might be a little bit less eye strain if you use paper instead of digital images. Doing things like window shopping really helped me to brainstorm and get some ideas and to try different things with my drawings. Normally I would shop on like wish.com. I would shop on art supply website. I love looking through the Blick catalogs. Those really give me lots of ideas. I can look at all the different new papers and paper colors and new things that come out. Sometimes I just flip through the pages and I just think of ways to organize my office because I have a ton of things for uh, ways you can organize your studio. It's pretty cool. I struggled with art block when I was a teenager so I want to say for the last 11 years I don't think I've had art block. I just had too many ideas that I wanted to get out but I wanted to make them cohesive. I wanted to apply my own style to whatever it was I wanted to draw. Well number five, I guess it could be number five, it's how do I say this? So number five would be to work on your skills during that time that you're that you're having art block. Whatever your downtime is, honestly, I would just find random images of things and draw them just so I could get the practice. So that way I was drawing consistently and I was constantly overcoming fears. Like I hate drawing lips. I really did not like drawing eyebrows. That was something I struggled with, but I constantly practiced drawing people and I got better and more comfortable with it. So that way when I overcame art block and I had things that I really wanted wanted to complete things that were things I wanted to start, it wouldn't be something that was so foreign to me. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please leave a comment if you want me to do a part two for art block. I hope that really helps you guys. Please let me know in the comments if this was useful to, to you or if you want me to do a part two, I would be happy to do that. I have tons of ways I can overcome art block. I actually have way too many ideas, too many things that I want to draw. It's a really huge list and I have yet to go through that list, but Art block is definitely not something I've had. I really like making these. I hope they help you guys because I've run into a lot of things over the years. A lot of uh, things that I had trouble with, things that, struggle, things that I had to struggle with as an artist. But in the end, I really uh, appreciate that I took the time to actually learn things and to make changes instead of doing the same thing all the time. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you liked this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.